Hi guys, Juice here. Hope everyone is well and good. Well, talking about this theme, this theme can be applied on both Windows 10 and 11, as the steps are almost similar. So without wasting any time, let's quickly jump to the tutorial. Download all the required files from the links provided in the description. To download skins from this website, you should sign up and log in to your account. It's completely free and has many useful contents. Now, we have downloaded all the required files. Let's begin the setup by applying the desktop wallpaper. Once the desktop icons are hidden, we can start installing the RainMeter skins. Before that, ensure you have RainMeter installed on your system. If not, download it from here and install. RainMeter can be opened from the taskbar tray after installation. Now, we can install and load the skins one by one. While installing the skins, if you see this checkbox, ensure you uncheck it before installation. Your RainMeter window will not have these many skins pre-installed. I have installed many skins before in my system with which I make these kind of videos. So don't get confused because of that. After loading the dock skin, you can hover over the small line to view the dock items. To adjust the dock position, click on an empty area and drag it. To view the visualizer, we need to play some audio. Let's load the skin for now and later I will show how to configure it. To adjust the skin's size, you can hover over the skin and scroll up and down. This method will work for all the skins installed for this theme, except the analog clock skin. Follow the next steps to remove the lines around the skin. The next step is to hide the taskbar.
you can click on the weather skin to hide or unhide the additional text. And finally, let's configure the visualizer. Play some audio in the background to view the visualizer. As I said earlier, you can hover over and scroll above the skins to adjust its size. Load the settings skin to adjust the color of the visualizer. In order to remove the empty space in the middle and give a transparent effect to the bottom part of the visualizer, we need to tweak the settings file. The dock has some quick access applications predefined in it. This can be used to open browser and file explorer, as we are hiding the taskbar. And, that marks, the end of this tutorial. Hope you like this video and do ask your questions or doubts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to my channel if you like to receive my future updates. Until we meet next time, this is Jess, signing off.